Hi, I'm Richie Kotzen, and I am going to talk to you in this video about something very exciting and new. The new RK5 Fly Ring. New and improved, many more features, and I'm going to go through them all. Do you know what this place is famous for? That's Paul. I actually used to come here to see him, because I built his end, right? Our office was two blocks from here, and I uh, used to come down all the time. Tell me about this new baby. Alright, so this is the new version of the Richie Kotzen RK5 Fly Rig. Mm -hmm. We've updated it and uh, we added some features. So all the features that were there before are still there. So we just added. And so I'm using two of them so that I can maximize the capability of what the pedal does. So on the bottom one, the first thing that we did was we made the foot switch uh, operate only the reverb. On the first generation, the foot switch would uh, turn on the sans amp and the reverb. And I kind of realized that if I'm going to use the sans amp, I'm going to ha actually have it on the whole time because I'm going to change the coloring of the amp. So that's what I'm doing here with this Marshall amp that I'm using. Uh, I've got the fly rig sans amp turned on and just tweaked so that I get a nice broken sound. So normally to have that kind of tone on that amp, you would have to have that amp really, really loud. Right. So it's not really So this is actually clean, like exactly. all the way. Really clean, like watch. If I turn this off, right. it's just clean. So then, like I said, the reverb now is functioning independently with the foot switch. Also on the same switch, if you hold it down, it becomes a tuner, which is nice to have. And it's also nice when you switch guitars because it mutes the output. Right. As a multi-purpose there, for me at least. Yeah. Another thing I wanted to tell you guys about the reverb, there's a switch on it now. You hit with the finger to make the size bigger or smaller. So that ties into why I'm using two fly rigs, because I have one uh, reverb, a short one, and then one is a bigger one, so I have options again with two different reverbs. The other thing, the overdrive is the thing that we've really worked on on the first pedal, and that didn't change, but we did not add an extra feature, we have a fuzz. So the overdrive, you press the finger button, it can become a fuzz, and then it, on the boost, you could use that as a compressor. So again, on my second fly rig, up top, I have the, those two engaged mm. in case I want to use a compressor in the front, which I haven't used yet, but I probably will. Um, then, uh, moving on, I have the delay, so that the pedal on the top here, if you look at my pedal board, is the delay. With the tap tempo. Obviously, I use that all the time. But, the bottom one is set to operate as a Leslie cabinet. And as you can hear, the, the tap, the uh, speed control, you use the tap uh, button for that. It controls the tempo yeah. delay. Yeah, it's ramps. The speed. It ramps up and down, yeah. Up and down. the drift knob I believe you can get a tremolo effect out of it too. So it's a really versatile thing. Also the pedal has the uh, balanced line output, so XLR type connector if you want to use that to record or go into the PA. Um, you don't have to use that. On the, the last single I put out was a song called The Dam and there was another one called Riot and both those guitars track all the guitars with this new form. Wow. the XLR though, I just uh, used the regular cord. The cord, yeah. It works fine. Yeah. So I think this is a really cool improved version of, of what I thought was a great pedal all along. And uh, there you have it. Right. And I'm going to play concert tonight so you can hear me play. Yeah.